This is how you can create simple 3D spinning image animation in Premiere Pro. So, I've already got the background image set on the timeline. Now, let's bring in another image. With the image layer selected, go to the Effects Control Panel and adjust the scale to make it smaller. You can also tweak the position if needed. Next, let's trim the image. I think about 1.4 seconds will work well. By the way, you can download all project-related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. Now bring in another image, trim it, and try to match it with the frame of the previous image. We'll scale it down and reposition it too. Just make sure the position lines up with the first one. We'll do the same for two more images. Following the same steps. Don't forget to extend the duration of the background image so that it matches the total time of these added images. Now, select the first image and go to the Effects panel. Search for the basic 3D effect. Double-click to apply it and also add the Gaussian Blur effect. In the Effects Control panel, under the Basic 3D section, use the Swivel property to rotate the image along the X-axis and with Tilt, you can rotate on the Y-axis. Let's reset everything. Now move ahead by 11 frames and click on the stopwatch next to swivel to create a keyframe. Then, after 11 more frames, click that little circle to add another keyframe, keeping it at 0 degrees. Now, go back to the starting frame and set the swivel value to minus 90 degrees. At the end frame, change it to 90 degrees. You'll see how this rotation effect comes together. To smooth out the animation, right-click on the first keyframe and set it to ease out. Then set the last keyframe to ease in. Now, Expand the swivel property to adjust the speed and velocity curve. From the second keyframe, drag the handle to the left. And from third keyframe, drag it to the right. Now, let's animate the blurriness. You can mimic the same steps from the previous animation. Set the two middle keyframes to zero. Then for the starting frame, set the blurriness to 95 and do the same for the last keyframe. Again, for that smooth animation, follow the same steps. Now, select the first image, copy it, then select all three images, right-click and choose Paste Attributes, or just press CTRL plus Alt plus V as a shortcut. You'll see how this rotation effect comes together. To add some extra flair, let's drop a speed overlay between the images. To remove that black background, set its blend mode to screen and then adjust its position to match the animation. If you want to change the overlay's color, go to the Effects panel and apply the tint effect. Back in the Effects control, use the eyedropper tool to sample the color you want from the image. We can make this even better. Hold down Alt or Option key and drag to duplicate the overlay. Then apply Gaussian Blur to the duplicate, adjusting the blurriness for a nice glow effect. Move ahead a bit and duplicate the overlay again. You can also change its color if you'd like. Add overlays at next transition as well. Notice, password is Flickspin. Finally, let's enhance everything with some sound effects. I'm adding the same spin sound effect to each animation. One last tip, it's better to adjust the blur direction to match the rotation. Since we're rotating along the horizontal axis, change the blur direction to horizontal. Make sure you do this for the other three images as well. To finish, let's round up the corners of the images. Apply the rough and edges effect. And in the effects control panel, bring that effect to the top of the others. Set the border value to 130, border sharpness to 10, and fractal influence to 0. Then, copy this effect and paste it onto the other three images, making sure it stays on top. And also let's add another spin overlay on top of starting and end of image. Feel free to make adjustment on position and scale if necessary. I think it's better if we give extra frame at the starting and end. And this is what you will end up with.